Genesis 1, verse 31. Go ahead. Enjoying a little music from the Cameroon this morning.
book by book, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, phrase by phrase, look at the word and then teach it by divine revelation. That's what I'm doing in the prayer for today. It's going to take me many years to finish the entire book of the Bibles. And we have just finished. Um, this is this is the 26th day of uh, January 2014. We have finished with chapter 1 of Genesis. But I'm not yet through with Genesis chapter 1. Because there is something in verse... Um, in verse, I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah, let me check it out here for you. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, and God, okay, that's verse 31. Okay, um, verse 20. Behold, I have given verse 28. I'm right. Verse number 28, where he said the six things that God spoke into the life of humanity. The six things that he spoke into their life. I want to touch on each of them again. Maybe that's how I will summarize this because, you see, there's always, there is always, in every chapter or in every story, there will be one particular verse that is the key verse the key verse to the entire chapter 1 of Genesis 1 is verse 28 it is the key it is the kernel it is the center of the entire activities it is when the real thing happened that captured the activities of the planetary realms, of the water realms, of the earth realms, of heaven itself. Verse 28 is the celebratory, is the celebration verse of the chapter. So whenever I am done with a chapter of a book, whenever I'm done with a chapter, I will pick the key verse and deal with it again. Because I'm going to talk about the six things. And God blessed them. And God said to them. Um, uh, and God said to them. Be fruitful. And multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. And have dominion. Five things. And then be blessed. It's like. It's like the. It's like the real thing, the foundation. The blessing is the foundation. And then these other five things. I'm going to spend some time to talk about it. Maybe by tomorrow morning. And I'm going to spend some time to talk about each of them in length. And then we will, we will say goodbye to we'll say goodbye to chapter one. This is this has been a thrill. That this there are certain things that when I do I feel good about it. This has been a thrill for me to accompany Jesus to look at how he created the universe in which we live. Well, today uh, is the last verse, that's verse 31. And God saw everything that he had made. He saw, he saw. Are you spending time to love what you do? Are you spending time to do what you like or what you love? Is your career fun? If your career is not fun, then you have a problem. If living on this earth is not fun, then you have a problem. Until you make a career out of what you are naturally endowed, then every other career you're going to pursue is going to be 
unnecessarily stressful because you are not going to have fun out of it because until your career what you are naturally talented becomes fun then it will make you money easy now look at this you have to sit back to look at what you are doing and ask yourself have I done this thing very well so there is no use running away from something in order to go to another one too quickly spend some time to make sure you give it detail you satisfy your heart and that is why God always spends some time to look at what he's doing, to look at what he's doing, to look at what he's doing, and to make sure that he has done them accurately, exactly as he wanted them, that they came out exactly that way. Are you spending time to train your children to talk to them without bullying them, without cursing them out, so that they come out to be exactly what you want them to be? Okay, look at this. Um, are you giving your job or your career that time and quality talent and dig, dig, dig to bring out the best out of it so that your mind is satisfied that you've given it the best that you can do? And God saw, and God saw, look at this, and God saw, you have to look. Looking is very important. Perceiving is very, very important. Satisfy your heart. Make sure you've given it your best. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. You can only tell yourself it is very good when you've given it your best shot. You've given it the best shot. You've, you've, you've looked for everything that will make that thing be the best. And then you give it then you can sit back and say, do I need to put a little, little brush here, a little painting here? What, what do I need to tweak to make this thing be the best? God spent time, detail, to make everything. And then he saw. Then he spent some time to inspect it. Do you know the reason why I call the babies? The inspectors of the universe. Whenever I mow the lawn, it's not a few minutes you see the babies begin to come. I mean, I know they come to look for food, insect, crops, seed, things to eat. But I always, sometimes I see them just come down not to eat, but just to enjoy the scenery. That's why I call the babies the inspectors of the universe. Whenever you've done something well, like mow the lawn, you see the birds arrive to inspect. You have to become an inspector of the universe. How much do you know your territory, your city? How much do you know your family background? How much do you know what is happening to you? These are things that you have to think about. How much do you know your brothers and sisters, their strengths, their weaknesses, their limitations? How much do you know your job? How much of the secret of your job do you know? Secret of your family? These are things you have to think about. You have to become an inspector, a quiet one of what is going on. Open your eyes so that you know what is happening in your neighborhood. And no way you can call God to interrupt or to intervene. Okay. And he saw that it was very good. Make sure everything you do on earth comes out right. That it is very good. And not only that. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. The number six day. See, after he's finished doing it all, he read it up. He looked at it thoroughly. And he said, this is good. I am satisfied with what I'm doing. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Are you satisfied with what you are doing in life? Are you happy about what you are doing in life? Are you satisfied that you are giving it your very best? 
anything that you are not passionate about, then I don't understand why you should be doing it. You must be passionate about what you're doing so that you can tell yourself you've given it the best that you should do. God spent time one day at a time, whatever that one day means, and he continued until the sixth day and he finished everything he wanted to do. Do not try to jump to finish everything in one day. Always give it time so that you can do them with ease and spend time to inspect what you're doing and make sure you've given it the best that it deserves. This morning, I want to ask God to give you the spirit of devotion so that you will begin to give everything you do 100% attention. Don't allow anything to deviate you, to remove you from what you've decided that this is the thing that you're going to do. You give it 100% attention and focus. Dear Father, give this to your people today and let your blessing manifest. Let miracles manifest. Let healings manifest. Let your power show up in Jesus' name. And as your power show up and as your presence show up, let Satan shut up. Let humans shut up so that your people will be blessed forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And remember, this is Reverend Indika Mary saying to you, I'll see you tomorrow for another prayer for today.